Just yes. got my hair done. I'm ready. See? Can you see it? Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Radiant. <laughs> Will Elon Musk hire us to be his adult man sons? Or where our resumes just not strong enough? Find out more on today's Musk Watch! <laughs> I had extracurricular activities, so I thought I'd get in. You know, to him's, him's family. You know, it's a new year, new Musk, and we are poised on the edge of a new age as Elon Musk and SpaceX prepare for the first test launch of their Falcon Heavy rocket from Cape Canaveral this month. Down in happen. the state of Florida. Well, the first video of the rocket posted by the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Center sitting erect in its berth Why? were mysteriously deleted from the internet. Now the company itself is posting vid after delicious vid of the rocket being raised to its upright position. Wait, where am I framed? Is my arm in frame? In fact, we love this rocket. The only problem with it is that it's just sitting there and the anticipation is killing us. When launched, the Falcon Heavy will become the most powerful rocket currently in service by a factor of two and we want to see all that thrust in action. And hopefully we'll get a test fire this week, but come on, I mean, SpaceX is basically giving us the aerospace version of a couple of pale blue dots in our pale blue jeans, if you know what I mean. What? I do not. Well, if you want to make an apple pie first, you have to, this guy knows, Jason Biggs, what? where are you at? What are you talking about? Pale He's blue good. dots in our pants? You talking about bluebies? Crumbly, but good. And speaking of waiting, if you pre-ordered a Tesla Model 3, you're probably still waiting. <laughs> I sure am. While Tesla was able to bump up production on the Model 3, which I did not pre-order, sorry to clear up any misconceptions, they still haven't reached the 5,000 cars a week goal they originally hoped to hit by January. Not even close. Oh man, they are so behind. Mm. Instead, the car company hopes to be producing 2,500 Model 3 vehicles a week by the end of quarter one, 2018. But while you're waiting, there are several things you could be doing. If you're on the East Coast, for instance, you could use your Tesla Model X to tow a giant 18 Wheeler through the bomb cyclone. That was the first thing I, I hate media and mm -hmm. I hate this generation because when I saw what is bomb cyclone and the first thought I had was like, is it like a cool cyclone? <laughs> uh, More like a cyclone. Yeah. But if you can't afford a Model X, there's an affordable Tesla alternative that everyone has been overlooking. The Tesla Model S Radio Flyer. Mm -hmm. Viable. It charges like the real thing, drives like the real thing, has swappable batteries like the real thing, and even has an auxiliary cord so you can bump the giants. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my, my colleague here was possessed by the ghost of Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Sorry. This car is perfect for everyone, just so long as you're under the weight limit of 81 pounds, which, look, I'm trying to get down to show weight, okay? You don't need to body shame me in the script, Jesus. I'll be 80 pounds by February. Are you happy now? That's why I have food poisoning. You're not doing so well at the whole weight loss thing, are you? No, man, I no. just keep munching. <laughs> This past Sunday, SpaceX finally launched a secret mission months in the making. The mysterious Zuma mission, Ooh. which was launched from Cape Canaveral, was originally scheduled back in November 2017, but it had been postponed several times due to inclement weather and testing. SpaceX cut off the rocket's video feed shortly into the launch, and we don't even know which government agency the launch was for. The FBI, CIA, CBS, NBC, DARPA, Alpha. My guess is for the Department of the Interior. The Interior of what, though? Well, the Department of the Interior deals with management of federal lands, and they don't need to launch secret missions. Or so. do they? Maybe that's just what they want you to think. If it's really about conservation, maybe they should call it the Bureau of Land Management. The Bureau of Land Management is, is part of the, You know what? It, it's time for your must-see moment of the week. Department of Parks and Rec. That's, that's, nope. We might have finally found our new calling in life. Or we can just insert ourselves into dad one more time. <laughs> I bailed and then I was like, well, time to stick this landing in the best way possible. We might have finally found our calling in life. Oh, thank God. Or maybe we just found another way we can insert ourselves into the narrative that is Elon Musk's life. I comment on every single one of his Instagram photos 
Maybe. You're playing a dangerous game. I am. All you have to do is say one word. And we'll, we're done. We'll, forever. We'll stop. That's our promise to you. And what we can only imagine is a direct slight to LinkedIn. Elon Musk made a call out on Twitter looking for applicants to work at his gigafactory outside of Sparks, Nevada, saying, quote, Come work at the biggest and most advanced factory on Earth, located by a river near the beautiful Sierra Nevada mountains with wild horses roaming free. Now, I'd be worried about all those horses. What if they, like, bully me on my my way to work and steal my battery money. What if you put a bunch of batteries on a horse? Then you'd have a lot of horsepower. <gasps> oh, sh Oh, wow! Well, I'd just like to say that we think we'd be perfect for the job. Well, I mean, any job, really. We have a lot of skills we bring to the workplace. I, for one, make a killer grilled cheese. The secret is bread. And I'm very good at removing cat hair from everything. <laughs> no. And that's all the time we have for this episode of Musquatch. Bye! Bye. Thanks for watching this week's Musquatch. Now remember to like and comment below with what you think that was launched on the mysterious Zuma mission. I think it was a smaller Tesla Roadster. Ooh, I think it was a giant balloon shaped like Elon's head, like a Mylar balloon. So we can have a party in space. That'd be very cool. And if you've got any musky stories, send them our way at SciFile, at Dan Casey, and at Nerdist with the hashtag Musquatch! <laughs> hey, and if you're one of those little kids watching, you should stop. Hey, parental guidance. Hey.